So you're somewhat handy with computers and want to go over the network player. Well, let's have a look. In the introduction video I explained that the network standalone ripper player is like a CD player with a built-in hard disk and network connection. The network standalone player lacks ripper in its name, meaning that the ripping, the copying of the audio data from the CD to the hard disk is left out. In the network player also the hard disk is left out, so the player is fully dependent on a shared volume on your computer or NAS for storage. In other words, the music now doesn't come from the CD or the internal hard disk, but from a hard disk somewhere in the network. In most cases, current network players are controlled by tablet or smartphone. In general, apps are available for both iOS and Android tablets and smartphones. All the designs might use a proprietary remote control. Many players have a USB connector so you connect a USB stick or hard drive directly into the player. Sometimes, like with for instance the Relic Ares Mini, a hard disk can be added internally. Let's analyze the name I gave to this kind of devices. It has a network interface and or Wi-Fi card for connecting to the hard disk in the network, the smartphone or tablet and for connecting to the web for the metadata. It plays music from shared volumes in the network. Standalone is not in the name since the player needs a hard disk in the network to read the music from. When you connect a USB hard disk to this kind of player you could say it becomes a standalone player. Since this device is not able to rip or store music, it has to be done on a separate device, usually a computer. I will do a separate video on ripping and on adding metadata, but I must mention here that not all CDs are always ripped and labeled correctly. There can be several reasons why a CD isn't ripped properly, like scratches, dirt or just a bad pressing. Even when the ripping went perfect, the metadata might not be found or be correct. Sometimes the ripping software on your computer will prompt you to choose from a number of alternatives. Sometimes it will automatically add the wrong metadata or just add no metadata at all. Then you end up with an entry called unrecognized title that holds track 1, track 2 and so on. You can correct this by using special naming programs on the computer as for instance rename for Windows. Music Brains Picard for Windows and Mac or Yate for the Mac. A lot has been said about the quality of equipment that works with computer technology. Music from the hard disk could never sound as good as a CD. Therefore I repeat again, chances that a hard disk reads the audio bits with far more accuracy than a CD are extremely high. It's more about the noisy electronics inside normal computers, but that's a matter of having the right design goal. As I mentioned before, a CD player is a computer too, as is a washing machine, the TV and the car. It's not the computer components that might make a player sound bad, it's the technical design. It might be clear that the technical design depends on the budget available, therefore a well designed player costing 2500 euros will sound better than a well designed player costing a thousand euros and, as always, a badly designed 2500 euro player might sound worse than a thousand euro player. In general the network player costs less than the network standalone ripper or player. This is only logical since it doesn't need a CD drive and ripping software integrated and no hard disk inside. Since the network player has to be close to the stereo it needs to be quiet. Since it doesn't contain a hard disk and therefore doesn't need a big power supply, fans are usually not needed. Therefore the player can be placed in the living without a fear for noise. If you are held back by the idea of ripping large quantities of CDs, it's good to know there are companies that offer that service. The going price is about 1 euro a disk. 
somewhat lower for larger orders and well negotiable for really big orders. You often have to take all your CDs out of their jewel cases or sleeves and put them on a spindle since the company loads them into a fully automatic ripping machine. Make sure you specify full CD quality as output format, FLAC, ALEC or AIF. WAV is also full CD quality but has limited metadata capabilities and therefore is the lesser choice. All four formats contain exactly the same audio data and should not sound different from each other. If there is a difference in sound, it's because your equipment, i.e. the player, works better with some formats and worse with others. This is not likely to occur these days, but has been an item with some British players a number of years ago. Recently, internet streaming services started offering full CD quality streaming. Big names here are Tidal and Cobus and both even announced streaming at higher quality using MQA technology. For CD quality, any player that supports Tidal or Cobus will do. To use the high res music, you need an MQA compatible player. Now you don't need to rip your own CD CDs, which might save you a lot of money when you have it done by others. Nor do you need the shared volume on a computer or NAS. If you love music and like the convenience of choosing your music from your armchair and have a shared volume on a NAS or computer in your network, go for the standalone player. Or use it for playing music from quality streaming services like Tidal or Cobus. If you like even better than CD quality, you might want an MQA compatible device for both Tidal and Cobus just started streaming in this format. Developments go quick, like the new MQA format. So if you want to remain informed, subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there. You'll find the information below this video in YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.